Hi, beautiful YouTube family. Lisa A. Romano here, the Breakthrough Life Coach, and I don't know what came upon me, um, but I just felt completely motivated to do a video for you guys today, um, which is kind of surprising because I am swamped with work that I have to finish up for my upcoming coaching program, but I just felt overwhelmed, overwhelmed with the need to, to do a video about how to deal with the neg negative emotions. So I'm going to presume because at this point in my life, what I've learned to do, which is quite miraculous, and this is what I teach people to do, is I teach people to trust their instincts, which is your guidance system, which is divine, um, which has been sewn into you by creator. It's part of your DNA, and it's, it's part of what makes you human. It's the ability to feel your feelings and to eventually learn how to trust your instincts. So even if that means that you sense that someone's treat, treating you like crap, you know, trust your instincts. They're probably tre treating you like crap, dear one. You're not crazy. You know, if they were treating you well, you'd know that. But anyway, so this video is about um, trusting your feelings, especially the negative ones. But first, I want to send a shout out to Mary Kay and Marie, especially, and to Blaine. They have, um, they're creating, they're helping me create a group on Insight Timer, which is really cool. It's a meditation app. And we can all meditate together. So that's like really cool. So talk about raising the vibrations of the planet. So check that out. If you're not if you're not on Insight Timer, consider it. You can actually sign up for free. It's a free app. And then if you want to upgrade, you can. I don't make anything on it. It's just this is a, a way that we can come together when we're meditating and meditate at the same time, which is really, really cool. So thank you to Mary Kay, especially for all the work. And Marie, they're, they're just incredible. And also, I got an amazing letter all the way from Sweden, from Malin. I hope I'm saying her name the right way, and I'm not going to read it out loud on this on this um, video. I just want to say, you are freaking adorable with all your little smiley faces and all your hearts. And, and I was just tickled pink to get your letter. And it actually made me cry. It was just so beautiful. So namaste, my dear sister in Sweden. Thank you. Okay, so now let's get on about this video about talking about our emotions. Okay, I personally think we need to get over the idea that we're always supposed to be happy. We're not. If I witness a dog get hit by a car, I'm going to be sad. And I might be sad for a day or two. And that's okay. If I find out that something tragic has happened to a member of my family, I'm going to be sad. If I discover that my kid's getting thrown out of college, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to grieve over that. That's normal. If I, if I come to the realization that I'm the daughter of a narcissist or that I'm married to a narcissist and this marriage has to end because he or she isn't interested in getting any better, I'm going to be sad. So that's normal. So when we are depressed for no reason, in other words, like when everything in our life is going smooth and we have, have you know, healthy marriages with spouses that see us and we have jobs that we really like and, you know, we're financially responsible and things are going pretty well in our lives and then we discover that we are depressed and we can't get out of bed. That's a different situation. But for those of us who are in unhappy marriages, for those of us who are codependent, and we're codependent with the boar's head guy, and we're codependent with the babysitter, and we're codependent with the first grade teacher, and we're codependent with the kids at the, at the grocery store, you know, and people bump into us and we're like, oh, I'm sorry. And, you know, for those of us who have those issues, you know, we have, we have a right to also acknowledge how we feel. For those of us who have been pushed around our whole lives and we're waking up and we're realizing that we've lived below the veil of consciousness, there's going to be a time in our, in, in our lives where when we come to that realization, we're going to be unhappy. And that's appropriate, dear one. So what I want to do is I want to teach you one of the techniques that I use in my private coaching practice with my clients. And so, so often people say to me, Lisa, I felt so sad today. And then what happens is codependence is we become one with the sadness. We don't know how to separate from the sadness. Remember, you're an emotional body, you're a psychological body, and you're a physical body. 
So we have the ability to think about the way we feel. Just like I have the ability to look at my pinky. Hold on. Let me try to get this. I can look at my pinky. Yeah, I got a boo-boo there. I burned myself while cooking. Hmm. Anyway, um, I, I can look at my pinky and say, and even imagine like, wow, this pinky represents sadness, let's say. And I can observe the sadness in me. Just like this pinky isn't me, I can observe the sadness in me because the sadness isn't me. I am the observer of the sadness. Now we're getting to some Eckhart Tolle stuff. Is that the right way to say his name, by the way? Is it Eckhart Tolle or Toll? If any of you know, send me an email. Anyway, I digress. So imagine that your pinky, we're trying to teach you how to observe your emotions rather than become your emotions. So just like your pinky is not you, you are observing your pinky, right? And let's say, let's say when I touch this, this wound right here a little bit, yeah, it, it still hurts a little bit, but I am observing the pain. I am not the pain. Let's say the ring finger represents grief. So let's say, God forbid, I saw a dog get hit by a car and that made me sad and I have some grief inside of me and, you know, it was a terrible thing to witness. So I can observe the grief in me, just like I, I can observe this ring finger. But the grief is not me. I can observe the grief that my, in, so my conscious mind can observe the grief in my emotional field. So if you imagine that your fingers represent your emotional field and each finger represents a feeling and your job on this journey to ascension is to learn how to master the feelings. Remember, dear one, this life coach is never going to be happy if you're flat. I want you to have it all. I want you to ex accelerate your ascension. I want you to live in love and light and feel love and light and know that you're enough every day and get up excited, you know, and see the stars and get excited and see the moon and get excited and see the sun and get excited. Okay, I digress again. Um, so anyway, I want you to learn to understand that feelings are like your fingers. Your fingers are not you. You could actually lose a finger and you'd be okay. We're not like starfish. We can't grow another thumb, although that would be cool. Maybe we really can. We just don't know that we can. But anyway, anyway, you are not your fingers. Your fingers are a part of you. You are the observer of your fingers. Your feelings are not you. You are the observer of your feelings. So um, what I like to do, and I just used this today with a client from London. Hi, Andy. How are you? He's brilliant, by, by the way. Um, and what we did this morning in, in, our, in our session was this. What I did was I asked him to imagine when he feels sad, what I asked him to do is I, want, I wanted him to imagine that one of his fingers represented sadness. And so whether it's sadness or anxiety or grief or anger or resentment or whatever. And then what we did was we had his right hand represent love and light energy. It's almost like Reiki. And so when you're experiencing sadness, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine shunting the feeling into a finger. And then you're imagining that your pinky is sadness and you're observing the sadness in your emotional field. And then when, you're, when, you, when you want to and you're considering releasing it, what, what you want to do is you want to connect to love and light. And then you imagine that your right hand is love and light and you place your right hand over your hand. And then you just share love and light. You just send love and light to the negative emotions that are in your being that are making you uncomfortable. And right now I can actually feel, I can actually feel energy on the top of my left palm from my right hand. It's so freaking cool. And obviously the more you do this, the more you'll actually be able to feel that. So a couple of bullet points. It's okay to feel sad. It's actually appropriate. Something negative happens in your life. And consciously you recognize it as something that's, that's hurt you emotionally, you're going to feel it in the emotional realm. But I want you to understand that your emotional realm is not you. You are more than your emotions. Your cognition, your higher self, your consciousness. And more than anything, you are the observer of the emotions in your body. More than that, you are even, you are the observer of everything. You know, you are the observer of all that is, dear one. So you're not even your body, but we won't get into that. We'll save that for, <coughs> excuse me, we'll save that for another video. So today, dear ones, bullet points, 
you waking up, you're waking up and you're realizing that you came from a narcissistic family and your parents can't see you or your family can't see you, you have a right to be sad. That's, that's absolutely normal. That's appropriate. And so, but you don't have to merge with the sadness. It doesn't have to take you down. You can observe the feelings that you're experiencing in your emotional realm. Okay. You can observe them and you can sh send love and light energy to the emotions that you're experiencing in your emotional realm. So you don't have to be happy all the time. It's okay that you're not. Um, being happy is just an emotion. It's like a finger. Being sad is just an emotion. It's just like a finger. You are the observer of the emotions that are happening in your body. So I hope this has helped. If it has, let me know. Um, I'm really working very diligently to get this coaching package ready for you guys. And it should be ready to hit the market around April 1st. And I believe that we're going to open up the shopping cart on March 20, March 20, 23rd, 2016. So look forward to that, dear ones, and let me know what you think. Listen, I bow to the love and the light within you. The love and the light that I am exists in you. You are not here by mistake. You are not here by mistake, dear one. Not here by mistake. You are a light worker. Um, and I bless you with many blessings today. Namaste. Bye.